Hey there, and welcome back to some more Changelessly Discombobulated, where we're playing with Bobs and Angels in our factory here. And you'll notice, first off, the terrain has changed. Um, I added in alien biomes. Now, this is something I actually wanted to uh, add in from the get-go, and I didn't for some reason. I forgot. I don't really know why. Uh, but I've added it in, and some terrain modification had to be done to our starting area. Uh, and I want to give a big thank you to uh, one of my community members uh, for doing that. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, it because like a script had to be written and, and stuff to get this to actually um, take over in the in the starting area. If I had just added the mod straight up, it would have uh, um, it would have like only done it in parts I hadn't uh, explored yet. So it's kind of a problem. Why are we getting? Oh my goodness! Can we just could, let, let, let's let's just hey psh, yo? How about we just don't do that? <laughs> For right now, how about we just leave that be? So today I want to get um, circuits going and I've researched. Oh my goodness. This is gonna drive me nuts. Stop it You idiots You suck Oh, uh, I have put some metal mixing furnaces down here This was a suge uh, suggestion from last episode, which was a really good idea um, to kind of just uh, do any iron that does pass through here uh, But I have this part of the copper working as well and I've also put an iron thing here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work towards circuits. Now, I've been looking into some different options, and the greenhouses are doing okay, but they're not, I mean, they're okay. Uh, they're, they're making wood. I mean, we have 500, but we're going to go through quite a bit. And looking through, it's actually not very complicated to make the wood, um, or actually rather the wood boards directly, just from the uh, angels, uh, like bioprocessing is we can make these just from cellulose fiber and algenic acid. And the fiber is made from green algae, which is literally just mineralized water, which is crushed stone of water, and carbon dioxide, which you just get from coal. Um, and then the uh, algenic acid is just brown algae, which you just get from saline water, which is just water made from a salinization plant, which I don't know how to actually get, so we may not do that yet. Um, I don't, I have an electrolyzer, I'm not sure what thing unlocks i looked at this the water treatment but that's not um can i like search salinization it's like washing uh so we need green science for that okay we'll have to wait that that's all good okay so circuits how do i want to do this well we got some lead and tin going of course i have no coal um in this guy he kind of stopped working uh but let's get started on this right away so the wood boards are just made from wood so i have to make some wood um, and I'm coming down here to get a little bit of coal. Um, and then uh, we turn wood and some copper wire into a basic circuit board. And then we turn the uh, basic electronic board, uh, do that from the basic thing and then the other thing. And then I have no idea. So <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to extend this out of it because I do want to have some sort of bus semblance of something over here. Um, so I'm going to clear some trees. But yeah, alien biomes, I figured it's just kind of a nice... It makes the environment look a lot nicer and different. I'm also researching nanobots because somebody commented like why I wasn't using nanobots and the reason was I hadn't researched them because I forgot. Uh, so we're going to bring this over uh, this way a bit. Let's uh, make some undergrounds as well. So he's going to underground like here. Same with this. And we'll just bring these over a bit. Um, now people are still kind of freaking out about my setup here. Uh, I do want to reassure you that this is not permanent whatsoever. I never intended this to be permanent, this whole setup here. Um, it's just kind of to get us a ways, maybe hopefully into green science. Um, we'll see how the actual supply does. But um, but yeah, it's not it's not permanent whatsoever. I, I plan to move it, I plan to rebuild it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so there's that. I also added the even distribution mod, which is a, a suggestion you guys had. Um, so that is in here now when I do run into a situation where I need that. And we now finished doing nanobots. Let's get some steel going. Uh, so let's, uh, the wood we may just carry down for now. Once we get like a real wood thing going, like with Angel's thing or maybe more greenhouses, um, we'll be belting it down. Uh, now, unfortunately, they either, either one, Angel's or the greenhouses require water, which is a bit unfortunate. Although I believe, isn't there like a water well pump? Water bore? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we need. There you go, because then we could just do it anyway. That would anywhere. That would actually be perfect. Sweet. Okay, so if we if we start this out, I wanna leave a little bit of room like to this stuff, so I'm just gonna 
kind of come over to the left a little bit here. Um, so we'll just start like here-ish. Um, so this guy is going to make the wood boards, which is just from wood. And then that is going to go into one of these things to make this. And it is actually a one to two. This takes half second. This takes half second. It's actually way more than a one to two because we get two boards from this. And then this takes one board and it gives us two. So this could actually support two and then uh, two of these machines. And then from that, we would actually get four wooden um, wooden job bob things <laughs> so what we're actually going to do is uh change this change this up a little bit here i don't want to pull straight off that i do want to do like some splitter action here um and then this we're going to need farther down so actually i changed my mind already this is going great <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to do this um, it's kind of like a little mini circuit setup maybe um so do that and then this one i know ratios aren't super important but when it's easy to do them like this like why not you know, maybe I went a little too far over here, but I actually really like this. I really like how this turned out, to be honest. It's a bit of a mess, but I do like it. Um, and now this is very, very uh, broken. Um, great. God damn it. Well, we're just gonna have, uh, we're just not gonna have copper, I guess. <laughs> this is so stupid. I hate you. Why are you, oh my goodness. Okay, um, you know what? I, I have a different plan for you. You know what you're gonna do? Oh, that needs to export copper somehow, though. Yeah, well, all right, hold on. Get distracted. Sorry, guys. You little punk, you wanna mess around? You know, I th thought I got him last time. Okay, there is no way in hell you were outputting anything. Oh wait, no, but he still would output copper because you would still have that option. Oh, what a pain in the butt, man. Well. Well, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess we're just gonna, you know, we just need a couple circuits. There should be enough copper here. Um, that's just gonna be broken for a bit. It's fine. Uh, I'll just have to remember to actually fix that, but it's gonna be broken, whatever. Um, so this guy comes down, this guy goes over here and then we'll just set up like a little box or something. Wow, something here for the wood. Um, I know for a fact I'm gonna need some more belts and inserters. Um, now I will take some iron. We should have tons of iron. Oh yeah, built up in here for sure. All right, so we got that. The wood's gonna go in there. That's gonna go there. Let's get some power running. That kind of looks like crap. Um, and then these are just going to be turned. Um, this is gonna be turned into these guys. So we get four. Wow. So these can actually feed a ton because. Every second we get four of these from one assembler. So that means every second we're getting eight of these, which means that this can actually, these two alone can support eight machines making this. Not that I actually have enough production of anything to support that um, or machines for that matter. But uh, I think I think we're gonna just kind of do that anyways. Um, if we, do I wanna go down with this maybe? Actually, sure. Um, this is a little bit close to the thing. Let's just kind of do something like that. I could be using nanobots, I suppose. Like, and so, like, I guess they would be good for places that I can't reach, like when I was trying to walk around in here. But really, I don't think they're any faster than me just placing right now, at least. Okay, so we'll just do, I wanna do like four for now. It's like half, that's fine though. Um, so this one, um, and then we need wire. And how does this, so this is three wire. I think this is gonna be like a, actually a similar setup to just normal circuits um, because wire, can we search like wire, cop, cop, cop kit, what? <laughs> Why can I not make copper wire? The fuck? Copper. There we go. Um, so this takes half a second and gives us two, which means that, and then this takes three in a second. So two of these in a second would take six and we can make, or no, two of these, three of these, sorry, three of these in one second would take nine. And in one second we can make four. Right? So if two of these took six, I think we're just gonna go one to one. 
it is probably just fine doing it that way. Because 1 to 2 is not quite right. And then 1, 2, 3 is definitely not right. So we'll, we'll just do it that way. Um, so while those are being made, let's bring our copper over here. Let's grab a split off like that. Or not actually there. Uh, because this needs to be like way over here. So this is going to be our copper, like so. Boom. And then this is going to come down. And then this, yeah, we'll just do the one-to-one. -one. It's not going to be like great, but I think it's fine. Um, this is made somewhere. Copper cable. Uh, okay, so do that. Oh, this place. All right, copy. Uh, we can't make fast inserters yet, unfortunately. So this is going to maybe be a little slow. Uh, we'll just upgrade them like as soon as we can get fast inserters though. So I know this is going to be too slow, but instead of like adding like two inserters and stuff when I could be using them somewhere else, we'll just let it be slow because like I said, as soon as we get fast inserters, um, I'll just upgrade them. So we'll do that. That's going to do that. This is going to do something. Um, you can just go like that. I'm actually not sure. I never remember what side of the belt it outputs on when it goes straight out. I want to say it's going to be like the top maybe. And then this, this crap is just, <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Um, and then, yeah, this is like broken because there's freaking iron in the thing. Screw you. All right. So that should be powered. Um, all we need now is some wood. I'll just stick some wood in here, really. That needs like way faster than that. <laughs> So this is actually perfect. Yeah, it was the top like I thought. So then this can just go like that. Boom. And then boom. Actually, this could be like way nicer, couldn't it? Yeah, let's 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 get rid of that. There we go. So that's going to make that. It would help if I actually did this correctly. I don't know where these are going to output. That should be interesting. Um, because these then need to go directly into these dudes which also take basic electronic components and solder. Now the solder comes from resin and solder plate. Resin is just made from wood. And then the solder plate is the tin and lead, which for now will be hand carrying over. Um, and then the other thing, this is tin copper wire, which you get from tin and copper and carbon. And then carbon, we did unlock that is coke which comes from crushed coal which comes from coal carbon dioxide which you get from coal so it's pretty much just coal and coal uh so we're gonna need a couple of these dudes let's get those on the craft here um and then we're gonna need um some more simplers for sure uh and then and then these i guess like i'm not really sure i guess these could go out this way huh um this one's gonna be a little bit weird it's gonna like totally screw up my nice power poles. Power poles were so nice and tidy. Not anymore. All right, so these are gonna export over this away and they're gonna go somewhere. And then this is going to grab here. I'm bound and determined to get these circuits going this episode. I would have liked to have gotten like Red Science Automated too, but um, as long as we can get the circuits going and some damn filter and fast inserters, I will be happy. Okay, so let's grab that. Let's go ahead and pick up everything off the belt, not the copper. Need that for other stuff. All right. So, let's see. <clears throat> let's start, let's actually, let's go run up and get the lead and tin that we have built up at this point. So that we can at least have that down here. We'll have to go up to the greenhouse at some point and get the wood as well, but... I can do that off camera. Um, this has run out of coal, which is great. 200 something there, 300 something here. It's not a ton, but you do get uh, the, where's the solder recipe? Solder, solder, anybody? Solder, here we go. So from four and seven, you get 11, which is a really, really weird ratio. So I'm not gonna even bother trying to ratio this crap out. <laughs> There's no way. Um, so if we just, okay. Let me think. We're gonna need copper down here for the tin copper wire. This should really be on this side. 
Oh my goodness. All right. Um, let's route these. Let's, uh, well, no, we want room for expansion. Let's route these like over here and we can always move this later, which is fine. Um, so this is going to come down. I would prefer for this not to share a line, but it may need to. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. So if, if we did like a cross, if this were to make, because this needs to make tin copper wire, which is okay. So if we do that, let's just do two of these for now. And then that is going to in, well, not that that's going to, nope. <laughs> That's going to insert it into here and these are going to make like that. And then I'm just like always out of everything. This is driving me nuts, man. Okay. So you're going to do that and you're going to get combined with tin plate. And I suppose what we should do at this stage is have like, what we should do is put the thing in here and then just have a belt here. Not, I, I was going to just put like a chest, but we will have it on the bus at some point. So I should just build it as if it were on the bus, except in this case, it's just coming from a chest at the moment. Um, I think that would probably be a good method. So if we get that here and here, perfect. And then that should do its thing. I would imagine this is going to need to be like a wacko super fast inserter. I might just like speed boost this a little bit. Just dump all of that on there. All right, so then these dudes are gonna export out here. So we now have the tin copper wire. And that is going to be part of the component in something, in this. So then we need the carbon. And then on top, why is this, this is, we, need, we actually need to research um, not that uh, we need to research this and I'm guessing I'm out of something, probably copper or something up there. Uh, while we're running up there, let's go ahead and grab some belts, more inserters, more assemblers. Yep. Out of copper. That's fine. Do that. You are going to get some of my iron because we are going to need that water well eventually. And let's just grab some more iron. All right, sweet. So that's going to come down. That's going to combine with the carbon. Now the other part that we needed was the <clears throat> um, solder, which is just the resin and solder plate. And the solder plate is the tin and lead. So with that in mind, let's go ahead. And I really like the color of this too. Um, let's go ahead and bring this down. This is where things get messy. This is where my brain starts to decompose on the spot <laughs> where I try to figure out where the hell all this is going to go. Okay. This really shouldn't be grabbing from the same line as the other thing. I guess I could change it in the future. I should, I, I I'm not sure. Um, uh, I mean, these make pretty freaking quick, right? A half a second and we get three. Let's, uh, let's just, let's, let's, um, let's like leave that as is for now. And this ratio is probably totally wrong to this one. It's fine. Um, so this is going to make, where is my solder? Can never find the damn solder. So solder. Solder plate. Plate. Can, can I get a solder plate? Is this not made in uh is this made in something else? Oh, this is made in one of them, these things. Oh. That's a little bit annoying because it's going to need fuel, but that's okay. So you can do that. And then actually on the same line, um, what we could do ish is have this um, stick over here like that. And then screw your tree and then put that in there. And what we, and then once it's on the bus, we would just have a combined line. Like they wouldn't be combined on the bus, but they, they would just come down um, and then we'd merge them. So that's going to do that. This is going to need fuel, but it should hopefully be pretty fuel efficient. And this takes seven seconds. So I would imagine that we're going to need um, a good number of these potentially just because it takes so freaking long. And these will be fast inserters for now, though. I think I will just full up insert the hell out of it. And then my hope. Oh, great. Well, maybe I'm not. <laughs> you suck. Um, okay. My hope would be that we could then 
somehow or other export it onto this side or something. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. You're gonna export out here. This is gonna come down and I'd like to merge this onto that so it's on the same belt. Um, and then because then we can combine, oh, that doesn't actually screw you. That doesn't go there. Crap. Um, we need this on a belt with resin. So actually, if we then take this and make resin, which I saw a minute ago, that's just from wood. It does take a, a bit of wood. It takes four or five, whatever it said there. Um, and then wood, I guess wood almost needs to be on the bus, doesn't it? Which is a little bit awkward. I'm going to be perfectly honest. That's actually really awkward. Like, <laughs> why? I guess, like, this is the first time I'm, I would have ever bust wood. Okay, so that's going to do that. We, we might as well put, like, two there. Throw that there. Get some more inserters being made. Okay, so then you are going to... Actually, what you can do is that. Perfect. You're going to export, like so. And for now, I'm just going to stuff all the wood I have in there. And it takes freaking forever. Five wood for one resin? Oh my goodness, I did not realize that. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not great. Uh, that, that, that's actually just horrible. That's going to not be good at all. Uh, okay, well, what we can do... Mm, great, fine. What we'll do is... Something like this, and that, and this too. It's not going to be enough, really, but it'll be okay. I can see why we need a ton of wood. <laughs> okay, so those two are on a belt, which is how we make solder. So then if we just take these somewhere over here, um, we could actually stick like another one of these here for that. So then if we take the solder um, here, and this takes two seconds, and we get eight of it. And then how much resin does this take? Luckily, just one resin for that. Um, you're going to do that. And we'll just kind of something like that. Could actually export there. Bring these guys over here. And it looks like I am running out of something. I'm out of wood. Ironic. All right, so we're just about done. Um, I don't think we're going to get red or green science done, unfortunately. Apologize for that. This always takes way longer than I thought think it will. Electronics is simpler, sure. It's probably a little late for that. Probably should have gotten that sooner. Um, okay, so you're gonna make that, and then, what, what, what were we doing? <laughs> this goes somewhere, and then this needs, okay, so the, the carbon is what needs to be here. So the carbon, we could actually just make the carbon crossed from this. And that takes coal, so I suppose we're gonna wanna bust coal as well. And then, does it take water too? I don't know. I really don't know. Carbon dioxide, which is from all this crap. So we need crushed coal, so we need a crusher. Somewhere. We need a crusher. Maybe two. And then we need a normal furnace, which is fine to make crushed coal. And then the crushed coal, or the coke, and then the crush, and then the coke and the thing, and then the thing, and the other thing. Okay, so <laughs> I hope you're following, because I'm not. So if we take this guy, and you make, it's not an assembler, you idiot. It's, um, what is the carbon actually made in? Oh, uh, what you doobie? Okay, so if you go here, you're gonna make carbon, and you are going to make, uh, change my mind. You are going to make that, you're going to make that, you're going to make this, and then you are going to make that. And I have also, I forgot to mention, you probably noticed, I did upgrade to stone pipes over on this setup. Uh, that was another good suggestion by you guys. Really, really loving the feedback and uh, tips and such you're giving. Uh, so that's going to make that. Now, this is going to get coal from somewhere. I, I don't know where. Eventually the bus, I suppose. We're going to have to go grab some and put it in a box for right now. Um, and then... That's going to export onto here. And we get three from two. And then this requires... I oh know that that's the, the other thing. Um, coke. So then coke 
was made in what a normal furnace and that is made from a crusher which i suppose we could just do something really wonky like that and you're gonna crush that like so and i don't know how long how long does that take to do that a second and we get two coke so that's a one-to-one, -one. and then this takes two coke every two seconds. So one of these can actually support two of these, which is not great. Because um, <laughs> I don't think there's a way to, like, well, maybe. Oh, my goodness. No, and so there's... Actually, there is. So if we move him and then take our crusher, we're almost done here, guys. We're finally gonna get circuits. I know this is a bit strenuous. I'm sorry if this is like super painful to watch. I'm going as fast as I can, all right? Uh, this is like super headachey for me. Okay, so you've got that and then you're just gonna take coal from somewhere, again, the bus eventually. We're gonna need like a serious coal mining setup. We need to figure out, um, we're gonna run out of coal. We need to figure out a way to make more coal. How do you make coal? Can you make, let, let's look really quick. What can you make coal from? Um, is, is that, what? <laughs> uh, ingredients. You just can't, you just can't make coal from anything? What, what? Yeah, it's not letting me. So you, can you not make coal from any process? No bioprocessing or anything, is that what you're telling me? because we're screwed otherwise. Um, so that's gonna come down on this thing and this, I don't know what this was for. What was this for? Oh yeah, wood, right. So we're gonna have to underground some of this here. Like somehow, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, let's let's stick you, actually let's, uh, let's do that. That will make the undergrounding far easier. Boom, boom. Powering this is going to be not fun, or near impossible for that matter. Wow, really? Like, screw you. Okay, then you're going to go there, and you're going to underground, under, underground, like that. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's just go ahead and grab some coal, and then we'll fire it up. And we'll be pretty much good to go. Um, let me know, guys. Is there some way to make coal from something? Like through a bioprocess or petrochem or something? Um, because otherwise, we're going to be in some trouble. If <laughs> if we can't make coal from anything, we're going to have to go find some coal real quick. Because by the looks of this, this eats quite a bit of it. Uh, like quite a lot. So that's going to be crappy. I really don't. Just don't look at the power poles. All right, it's fine. Um, let's stick that in there, that in there, that in there. And this should be good-ish. Except that I'm an idiot and that doesn't work. <laughs> oh man, I'm losing it. You can tell I'm really losing it. Um, where are the pipes? Pipe, pipe, pipe anywhere, somewhere, pipe. Let's make one of them. Sweet, okay, so. Take you, you're gonna, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is like ridiculous. All right, new plan, because <laughs> this is totally not bad at all. Just, uh, just don't, don't do this guys, all right? Just don't do this. Can't get in there, but that's fine. Um, so we're making carbon, which then comes down, and I'm out of belt, but if I weren't, um, this would come down and we'll just make the circuit somewhere. Let's let's leave that there not there there And then this combines finally freaking finally down into This <laughs> uh, Instead of just I mean, I guess this can just be Long I don't really know Yeah, we'll just make that okay, so oh, those can't what? What are these made in? What? What? <laughs> what are these made in? 
Are you sure? Because I disagree. What? Okay. Am I just like stupid? Is this like something I have to unlock to, uh, to make in a thing? What? <laughs> what? An assembling machine. Why can it not be made in an assembler? What is wrong with you, you stupid mod? Good thing we had these electronic assemblers. That's so stupid. I can make it clearly. Like, I don't understand what's going on here, man. Why could I not make that in an assembler? Can I make it? I better as hell be able to make it one of these. That's really weird. Like, that's actually really, really weird. The thing he says, I can do it, but... Amount of wood. Great. <laughs> I just want a couple of these, and then I need to end the episode. Come on, game. Let me do this. Alright, so you're gonna come down, and that's all the resin we got, man. Oh, wait. Aren't these supposed to be turned into something? Yeah, this ends here. What are you doing? Oh, this doesn't actually have an export. Uh, well, <laughs> this actually needs to export like, wait, hold on. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Well then sure. Go like that. Take a belt, bring it down. I'm actually on the wrong freaking side, but that's okay. Cause what we'll do is we'll just do something very wonky like that. That's going to be on the correct side. Yeah, and then you're going to come over like so. And I'm going to need even more inserters. So you're going to grab here and here, and then you're going to grab here and here. And last, thankfully, we're almost there. I'm going to run out of belt, but that's okay. We'll do that, and then this can export somewhere uh, out that way. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts. It needs to turn it the same spot. All right, whew. Finally got the freaking circuits finished. So you're, what's this? So these are actually faster, which is pretty interesting. The craft speed is actually faster. In fact, these are even faster than a level two assembler. Um, and this is supposed to be turned into something first, is it not? Probably. Yeah, it's supposed to be turned into, fuck, into that. Sure, let's just make that here. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just make it here. It's fine. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Uh, and then you're going to export. Actually, let's just um, let's export like out this end, maybe, huh? Because then you could just come down like that. And boom. No power poles. Really? Please go. I don't think I actually, I don't even need two. I may need like three for this. This, exp this makes five. And then we're finally, finally making circuits. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I can finally make filter inserters, stack inserters. For now, we are just going to put this in a box and I'm going to be happy. So I'm going to end the episode there. It's probably way over time, but I need to call it. And uh, I know it took way longer than I thought, but it's actually not as messy as I thought it'd be. There's not much room for expandability. Uh, but I'll probably end up tearing it all down anyway and doing it differently in the future. So I'm okay with what we have so far. Um, this is actually the limiting factor simply just due to the craft speed. And this was a very temporary solution. We actually need way more of these. So I'll probably move it somewhere else. Like uh, I could actually move it up here like a cross would be better. But for now, that's okay. And I'm just happy we have these. So that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my struggles. Next episode, we will definitely be getting into science. And I think we can probably knock out red and green just in next episode. Um, because red is just copper and iron gears like normal. And then that is just the normal recipe. And uh, we re actually really only needed these to make the normal inserters. So that should be super easy. Pretty much just a standard uh, science build at that point. Which I should be able to knock out really quick. But uh yeah, any thoughts or suggestions, as always, leave down below, especially um, if there's another way to make coal or if you just have to mine it. Um, I'm really interested in that for sure. 
Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much. I do hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.